When most people think of surfing, Texas is one of the last places that comes to mind. We're perceived as the land of guns and horses. And some people even forget that we have an ocean. Fact is, most people will raise some skeptical eyebrows when you say you learned to surf in the Gulf of Mexico. Usually, when you, when you tell people you surf in Texas, you, you get this uh, almost just kind of incredulous, like, there's surf in Texas? I think most outsiders would, they think Texas surfers are a joke, and Texas surf is a joke. I always thought people thought of us as the armpit of the surfing world. Texas surfing is very hit and miss. It's very weather generated. It's very wind generated. You gotta be on call every day, all year long to try and get maybe that one or two hour window. So it really takes a lot of commitment. If you weren't there, you missed it. And that, that's it. I mean, it's not like a swell lasts for a day or two. A swell lasts for hours. And if you didn't know it was coming, if you didn't have insight, then you missed it. Amazingly enough, I feel like Texas gets a lot of really good quality surfers. And I think part of the reason is because we have to make something out of nothing. Everything's big in Texas except for the surf. It's really easy to be happy when you travel. All the demons have been Lots of times I've been on a trip and seen people from all over the world whining and complaining about the waves, and the Texans are just having a blast. There's no need for hesitation. Yep, it takes a certain type of surfer to deal with the less than perfect conditions and stay stoked on the Gulf Coast. Surf scene in Texas is definitely unique. It's a lot of characters. But there's no character quite like Nate Floyd. Now they got me wondering what to do. Nate Floyd, I remember him when he was just a tiny, tiny little drum. Man, he's gone from that to become, you know, one of the best surfers in Texas. Poor kid had no chance, so I had him in the water before he could walk. Nate's an ocean-loving creature who takes on many shapes. A man can grow a beard in less than freaking five days. You could say he's an animal whisperer of sorts. But more than anything else, he's of the sea and lives and breathes Texas surf. My favorite thing about Nathan Floyd is that he's the guy that calls me when they're surf. I can always count on Nate to give me a solid surf report and definitely get me amped up to get out in the water. My pops has had me surfing since I was a little bitty guy. I honestly don't even remember my first wave, so it was a long time ago. Growing up in Corpus Christi, Texas has been awesome, and I've been working at Wind and Wave for as long as I can remember. I started Wind and Wave in 1987. Pretty much grew up in the store. I'm the manager for my pops. Yeah, for me, Wind and Wave has kind of become, I guess, my identity in my life. That's what I've been doing for 30 years. But trying to get good surf in Texas is super difficult. You know, just like anywhere, when there's no waves, we had to find a way to keep surfing, you know, sidewalk surfing. We'd skate. There's a plethora of skate parks around here. Another thing that we've been doing in Texas for a long time is scurfing, or wake surfing. A lot of us down here are fishermen, but we would use our boats to go surf behind the boats. It allows you to keep surfing all summer long when there's no waves. It's pretty cool. I mean, I look around and there's not really too many places in the U.S. that I would rather live than where I'm at, even though the surf's as crappy as it is. It's a great place. When you score Texas really good, a day at home is better than anywhere else because you put all that energy into getting that day. And when it, all the stars align, it's as fun as anywhere. I'm 
a Texan forever, through and through, no matter where I am. There's just some magic to catching your break on its best day.